Hey everyone, welcome to another video on the channel. Today we're going to be taking another look at BlackBerry stock. So since the last time we discussed BlackBerry, we have seen some price improvement, which is great to see. So you could see that um, we had been kind of stuck earlier in the summer um, and by July and the late June, early July, we had gone all the way down to about the $5 level. But since then, we could see that we've been hitting these higher highs and higher lows all throughout July into August, at which point now it looks like we've hit a bit of resistance at around the $7 range. So now the question remains to be seen. Will we be able to break out of this $7 level resistance? Will we get rejected up here and fall back down, potentially all the way back to the $5 level? Um, a few things to think about here. So I thought this was interesting, this article, especially because I feel like Motley Fool has done a lot of articles about BlackBerry in which they always kind of, you know, throw them in with the meme crowd and usually just talk about how horrible the stock is. But... This one I thought was interesting um, in its positive spin on BlackBerry. So, and the points that it highlights, I think, are worth highlighting. So it's saying how BlackBerry has been uh, increasing in stock price over the past weeks. And um, particularly what's really, uh, you know, the core business of BlackBerry, what it's quickly becoming and has been developing is really this QNX operating system that they uh, pair with the within the automotive space. And we've said it before, if it could ramp up, it's had, BlackBerry has already had various partnerships with various automotive companies, both in the U.S. and Canada, and increasingly so in China, in which these car companies are utilizing the QNX software, which is great, and it's also... Um, though some of you consider about whether or not how car sale performances are doing, because especially if we're heading towards a market slowdown, if there's going to be a recession, people aren't going to be uh, purchasing new automobiles. That might be something that goes against QNX, but the fact that these car companies are embracing the QNX software is uh, very positive. And also worth noting is the um, potential applications of their upcoming intelligent vehicle data platform, IV. That's another. I, I think I've done past videos about IV. If not, I'll do uh, maybe a more in-depth video about the, the software in and of itself. But BlackBerry's also, again, has another um, partnership with Neta Auto, which is another Chinese EV uh, car company, or they're owned by China's Hozan New Energy Automobile Company. So that's good. I mean, if they could keep on piling up these uh, partnerships, that would be fantastic uh, and really show some um, very strong growth. Because as we've seen, and so, I mean, this isn't now, it's August. And back in May, we did see BlackBerry's revenue has been increasing at that point, 6% year over year to around $113 million, which is great. It, they adjusted their net loss for the year of uh, $30 to $31 for the quarter, which was less than the $38.8 million that they were expecting. So BlackBerry, I mean, they've been, their stock was in an absolutely horrible place. The company was hammered uh, relentlessly, and they're clawing their way back. They're still not there yet, but see, this is great to see that the company is making steady improvements uh, for the last four quarters, at least, they have been improving. And also, I thought this was just worth noting that um, it's not just us. So there are now more analysts are beginning to cover BlackBerry. So uh, this Robert W. Baird has initiated coverage and they've initiated coverage at a neutral rating, which, you know, it's okay. Uh, and setting a $9.60 price target, uh, representing some potential upside for the stock. And also recently, Royal Bank of Canada, which had been um, 
monitoring the stock has issued a hold rating with a $6.50 price target. Um, so we could see, you know, it's really kind of all over the place uh, in terms of the price target. Some people are expecting a substantially upward move on BlackBerry. Other people think it may just kind of hang out at the level where it's at. I think a lot depends on the whole economic situation uh, going forward. As we were saying, if there is, if there are increased concerns for a recession and how that might specifically impact the automobile industry, because as we said now, uh, BlackBerry currently, a lot of its business depends on the auto industry with that QNX software. So we'll have to see what happens um, if, because maybe if we, even if we do enter a recession, it may be a light recession or we may already be in a recession that's uh, not going to be like a 2008 recession. Or then again, we could enter a 2008 or worse type situation, which would obviously be terrible for, you know, the whole economy of BlackBerry itself. And BlackBerry would probably, uh, you know, continue to dip if that was the case. But let me know what you think in the comments section. Um, are you holding on to your BlackBerry shares? Do you think that uh, it'll continue to post quarter over quarter beats? Do you think that it will um, become profitable in the near future? Let me know um, if you're holding, selling, buying more, and I'll catch you in the next one.